Is CPU-Z not displaying your RAM on Windows 11? In this video, we'll explore three simple solutions to fix it fast. Right-click on CPU-Z's launcher, .exe file, and select Properties. Go to the Compatibility tab and tick the checkbox for Run This Program as an Administrator. Click on Apply and OK to save the changes. Sometimes, the Memory tab in CPU-Z is grayed out but the SPD tab lists the information. So, if you just want a brief overview of the connected RAM modules, simply go to the SPD tab, navigate through the different slots, and gather all the information you need. Press Windows plus R to open Run, type appwiz.cpl in the text field, and hit Enter. Select CPU-Z from the list of applications, and click on Uninstall. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. After you are done, restart the computer, go to CPUID's official website, and download an earlier, or, if available, a newer version of CPU-Z. Make sure to get the setup instead of the zip file for quick and easy installation. Finally, check for improvements. CPU-Z often leaves behind some files after a quick removal which might trigger conflicts during reinstallation. That's why experts recommend using a top-rated uninstaller software to delete all leftover files, app cache, and registry entries. Often, when CPU-Z is not showing the correct RAM size or doesn't display anything at all, it's likely that the RAM modules are not connected properly and need to be reseeded. Simply disconnect each one of the modules, and then seat them in the respective slots as specified by the system manufacturer. You can refer to the computer's manual for the ideal arrangement of the RAM modules. Thanks for watching if it helps make sure to hit like and subscribe.